Kalani Plus is playing away from home. So um, it's one game that we must look hard for. The Enimba Atlanta game is the biggest game, no doubt, for um, for, for the weekend because um, two East Town um, rivals, so it's going to be a very close one. Um, I hope um, the way they played the, against um, Rangers, um, I hope they can put up this kind of performance against Atlanta, even though Rangers won that game 3 1. Um, the World Wars game is another key game. So this weekend is going to be very key because whoever, because the way, the way it's running now, we are now likely going to be seeing a more tougher second round. Mm. But I hope the, the LMC will come up with, uh, with, they will resolve some of the issues that almost affected the league for the first round. And, the O and D will come up with the decision because we are finding ourselves in a difficult situation. Rangers has two outstanding games. They have a game against Sharks that was not playing in Port Harcourt. They have against um, 3SC in Enugu. That game has to be sorted out before second round. That's the that's mm, another issue. Mm. Then the game against Wiki. We don't know whether the LMC have come up with that game. They are walkover. The announcement as they walk over, but, they walk over. They are, but Rangers are peeled. They are peeled. And the O and D will have that's to another, That's another issue because mm. it's going to affect the table. It's still affecting the table up to this moment because there are different tables from different sources because of that particular game. Mm. Very key. So I think um, the so this season of, should be one for us to resolve a lot of issues. issues. It, it all depends on when the O and D will meet and come out with their own findings, so that all of those things can be can be sorted out. Because they can rule that Rangers should go and replay the game. They will have to fix a date. They will have to fix a time and the venue and all of those things uh, before and we go. Call, on. Let, let's say the LMC, at least LMC, one of the officials should go to Medigui and watch some of these games. Because if you play a game in Medigui, you cannot get the, you may not get the result. 24 hours. I know, but we got the result of Atlanta the same day. <laughs> and we, got the, know, of, and we got the result of Rangers the same day. <laughs> Things are changing. No, I think they played, they they played three, earlier. Yeah, they, they played three o'clock. I'm talking of earlier. I'm talking of communication gap. Now, we're able to get the result now. We are getting the results now. All right, we're waiting for the features to show on your screen, but it doesn't look like it's, it's um, uh, going to be on your screen. But we can read it out for you from here. We have Nasarawa United hosting Rangers uh, in Lafia. We have Enyiba against Atlanta, easily the biggest game this weekend. Yeah, Nimbe will be hosting Sharks of Portacot, another game that will be played uh, in uh, Bielsa, uh, Yenegua. That's where the game will be played. Worry Wolves will be hosting Sunshine. Do not really just talked about it uh, in Worry. Worry will be happy at least temporarily. They have three points, three goals of uh, Aqua United, um, so they will, they, will, they will be looking at that. Cardinal United against ABS is another game that will be coming up this weekend. Quora United will be facing three SC in a Loring. That's a big game. Uh, anytime shooting starts visits Ilori is always um, agog. Ilori is always agog. And then we have Gombe against Aqua United. We have Dolphins against Bayesa United in Portacot. We have Lobby Stars against Wiki Torres of Bauchi. And we have Kano Pillars against El Kaneme Warriors of Meduguri. Um, that's, these are the fixtures week 19 of the Nigeria Professional Football League. Uh, games will be played this weekend. As we said before, at the end of these games, the league will go on break for about two, three weeks. Let's step down and talk about the uh, Nigeria National League. We have uh, DSS against Jute. We have Jigawa against uh, Ranchers. We have Chip against Plateau United. We have Mighty Jets against Adamawa United. We have uh, Taraba against Tornadoes of Mina. That's Division A. We have Sokoto against Kogi. We have Giwa against FC Abuja. In Division B, we have uh, other matches as well. Good games to be played. Insurance against Remo. MFM against Abia Warriors. That will be at Agrega Stadium tomorrow. We have Gateway against Rising. We have Prime against Abia Comments. We have Gabros against Crown uh, as well. We have Unisem against COD uh, in the Nigeria National League. Um, Dumnodi, what is happening to the National League? Aqua United have missed two games. They have been expelled. Zamfara United have written they cannot continue in the Nigerian National League, they've withdrawn. I you know um, if you if you look at the even the, the state federation cup, they were not too serious about what is it going shows on. It shows because um, of course um, maybe the, the league is not profitable, maybe there's nothing to play for. <laughs> <laughs> but since they go, I think I so think maybe Akpa United, I think it's uh, owned by the whether it's owned by the Senate president. Allegedly owned by the Senate president. Because Alleg you, are, you are putting allegedly. Now. Uh, of course, if it's owned by the Senate president. Reportedly owned by the Senate president. Reportedly owned, owned, owned by the Senate president. Then this is a bad image for him. It's a bad image for yeah, him. Yeah, but they he don't still, know. He still wants a basketball club. They call the Mark Mentors in, 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 the, in the DSTV league. Okay, they are still playing in the, no, uh, the, 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 the DSTV league, the basketball club. The they are still mentors. playing in the DSTV Premier Basketball League. So, basketball. Basketball. But they have pulled out of. Uh, they have been expelled. I mean, they, 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 they didn't pull out. They were. They've been expelled. They didn't play two games. They missed two. They missed two matches. And according to the rules, if yeah. you miss two games, you are expelled. Like what happened in the Nigerian Premier League last season with those one boys missing games and yeah, yet every, every, they were still every, every going result, on. Every result involved by United is cancelled. So it means some of those clubs that are thinking of three point, two point, one point, they should do their calculations again. Across board for all the, teams, all the clubs, all the results, even the one for Sanfara played two. and Sanfara played. two. 
played and unplayed. All the results played and unplayed. Accounts so, accounts so, so we're expecting the National League to come up with new tables new now, tables. reflecting these new positions. So, but um, but for Zamfara United, I I I hope I hope um, it's not. Just this is the end of Zamfara United, I think. I think that's just the end because it's likely going to be unless if they say okay because right now they are on rock bottom. They, I don't think they will, they will survive. The they must have looked at the fact that they can't they can't they can't escape. Even if we go for all our games, they can't escape. We can't survive. They can't escape, they can't escape relegation. And mm. of course, uh, it, 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 the same thing we talked about government implement with this club. But some, somebody told me and said, is it, is it, are they the only government? They are, they are getting themselves involved with clubs. Some governments have a lot of issues at their state. They still they will be able to resolve it that. It depends on your priority. And you can't fault a governor you can't who, feels, who feels that, look, I want to do some more things in terms of infrastructure or roads or hospitals and not too much on football. We, are, we, have, we have said this several times on this show, that our football clubs should find a way of getting funding outside of government. It can't continue for too long. The issue of bonus that we talked about is the same issue. It's Absolutely. the same thing. Absolutely. Government gives NFF all the money. Now government said, I cannot give you that kind of money again. There's crisis everywhere. Government, There's embarrassment everywhere. Government cannot be for the Christmas It cannot time. do it all the time. So we need, to go, so we need to go and get private sector funding for football so that football can stand on its own. And if football indeed drives, drives on our emotions as people, it shouldn't be too much of a task to market this football, get the private sector involved. And I think it still comes down to the issue of trust. Can our football administrators, can our football association be trusted with public funds? If they cannot be trusted with public funds, private sector will continue to run away. And I think that's the hallmark of uh, why our clubs are withdrawing. Uh, but Aqua United is a private club. Maybe the owner also has looked into the structure and he says, look, we just can't continue like this. Maybe Nothing is coming in. Let me tell you, sometimes not, not the, structure, the position in. of the club, if they had been, if they are at the top of the table, you can't pull out at that, that time. You, you when can, you know you that can you, be motivated. There's something that is pushing you. you so. But you look at the league. What am I playing for? What am I getting? And you look at what you are investing, and it doesn't correlate. But this this moves mm. are not good good for Nigerian football. I think before a club enters for the league, Premier League, National Division One, they should, you know. Be meant to pay certain amounts. Mm. It, it when you, when, it when, always work. When you pull it, out, when you pull out, because it, it, yeah, I, yeah, there should be punishment for pulling out. I mean, you, you cannot just uh, get mm. to the middle and uh, just uh, pull out of the the league. Okay, let's let's go to grassroots football now and uh, talk about the uh, Mimiko under 18 championship that is ending this weekend in Akure. Semi-final results, as you can see on your screen, it was uh, Ondo State Football Agency uh, beating Fountain of Ekiti on penalties after those both teams had played a two-two draw. Um, the agency team won 5-4 uh, on penalties and the uh, Tiwa of uh, Akok Akoko beat uh, Margate of Ibadan 2-1 uh, in the semi-finals. These are the semi-final results. I mean, it means the final will be taking place on Sunday. We have uh, Undo State Football Agency against uh, Tiwa Tiwa of Akoko. Remember that Tiwa Tiwa got to the final of the yeah. Undo FA Cup and lost narrow to the Sunshine Stars. So. On penalty. On penalty. No, no, they, they, they considered 4 2, 4 2. They were leading. It was in other time that Sunshine scored all their goals. At that time. <laughs> we were told that the other time was going on and on and uh, until Sunshine equalized. At that time, they didn't, didn't, didn't change. And then, third place, we have uh, Margate against the uh, Fountain. That will be tomorrow. Um, of course, uh, under 18 tournament, we had the team from Turkey. We had the team from Ghana. Mm -hmm. We had the uh, teams from all across Nigeria take part. And there's a the prize money. Uh, for the eventual winners. I'm so, so surprised that mm. the River League didn't even get to the semi-final. River League. Okay, for Menugu. Very, Menugu. Good. Very good very side. Good. Maybe very these good teams side. are better. Maybe they are better. Maybe these teams are better. They, they've been running for close to like 20 years. Mm. There's a structure like academy. Structure, like, like a street in Enugu. Mm. The name is like a street in Enugu. All right. Well, so we'll see what happens at the end of the day. And uh, we are told that it will be an event that will be annual. So this is the first edition. And I'm sure that the next one will be better and better and better. We will go on a quick break. Uh, now, when we return from the break, we'll take a look at some transfers making the rounds. Mikel Obi is in the news. Will he stay uh, or will he move to Turkey? We'll talk about it and uh, some other news as well.